So about four months ago, Ethan and I saw that one of our favorite bands were touring. I'm not gonna say who it is, if you know, you know. But we also thought it would be a good idea to see the concert, wake up the next morning, then go to the Omaha Zoo. And that's what we did. So we arrived about four hours before the concert. I thought, well, this will be easy. Just bring my phone over there, just watch some videos, it'll be all fine. Here's the problem. My dumbass forgot to bring a phone charger. And of course, Ethan and his dad both use Samsungs and I use an iPhone. So I had to make my phone last the next two days. And I knew my phone was gonna gonna take a lot of battery taking photos of the zoo tomorrow so I just turned my phone off and sat there for three hours fast forward we get into the concert we're some of the first people to get in there right in the front behind a few people it wasn't exactly dead in the front there were a lot of VIPs what happened next pissed me the hell off all right so I understand saving a spot for like two people this kid decided to save a spot for his entire family and their family went right in front of us, and of course, this tall kid stands right in front of Ethan and I. Like, 50% of the time I could see, 50% of the time I couldn't. It was terrible. I didn't take any videos or photos of the concert. Ethan got all the footage. This was because I was trying to keep my phone alive, and honestly, when I'm watching concerts, I don't want to be constantly taking photos and videos. I just want to watch the concert. I'm here to watch. I'm not here to record. Pretty good concert. I give it an 8 out of 10. Then we went back to the hotel. Ethan and I shared a bed. Pretty big bed, so we had plenty of room we didn't fight over the sheets too much we fought in the sheets a lot though wake up the next morning get some hotel breakfast after we eat we head over to the zoo now i've been to the omaha zoo a few times before the time we went two years ago was awful oh my god first of all it was 88 degrees out so everyone was burning their biscuits off <laughs> secondly there were so many goddamn people you couldn't see shit <laughs> everywhere you walked there was just a crowd of people. No, not a crowd. A chain of people. Multiple chains of people. You couldn't see anything. This time was okay. 44 degrees. Honestly, there were a lot of people for it being that cold out, but I let it slide because I can at least see. And here's how that went. All right, so first we went to the underground area below the dome. I didn't get to see that last time because there were so many people. First thing I saw was this weird little kangaroo guy. All right, before I get into this, I don't remember the names of any of these animals. So uh, just bear with me here. Uh, I saw the dude from Monster Hunter World. Then I saw the most bats I'll ever see. I was terrified one of them would bite me and just give me rabies. <laughs> While we were in the bat exhibit, there was some absolute dumb f with his flash on just going from little thing to thing taking photos of everything especially taking photos of the animals that are super sensitive to light now let me tell you this pissed me off because dude it's a fucking dark exhibit for a reason put your flash off and of course this guy looked like the definition of a discord mod five foot seven built like a goomba i bet he smelled bad too i couldn't tell because we were in the bad exhibit <laughs> hold on wait a minute five seven built like a goomba <laughs> i just called myself the f out anyhow so i got mad at this guy because he kept just flashing his camera. I yelled at him. I said, turn the flash off. And I can't tell if he listened to me because he scurried away. Just like this animal I saw right after I yelled at him. Anyways, after that, saw an alligator. Saw some more bats. Another gator. Oh, wow. Then we saw this giant albino gator. Or croc. I can't tell. I think that's a gator, though. Next, we visited the aquarium. Ethan jump scare. Saw some pretty cool fish. Looked at these puffins for a little while. Is that a blue-footed booby? They're friendly, this is awesome. Then we saw all the emperor penguins. Then we saw these weird stonefish, I think is what they're called. They all look really depressed. Saw a shark, some sort of sand shark. A moray eel. This stonefish thought he was Adam Warlock. This guy caught my eye. He had the exact body of a bluegill, but he was completely orange. So. <laughs> <laughs> then it was everybody's favorite part, the shark tank. Now, last time I went here, you could not see anything. You could look above you and maybe see some fish, but all the sharks and all the cool things were on the sides, and you couldn't see anything because there were so many people. It was terrible, but luckily this time was not like that at all. Saw a lot of sharks. I believe these silver guys are giant treville. Thanks, Animal Crossing. Next, I got a pretty good shot of these jellyfish. This is actually my dad's phone background. That would be funny to snap a photo and send it to him. He didn't even see the photo. Anyway, so after we were done with the aquarium, I stopped at the gift shop, bought this shark. I had to carry him around the rest of the trip. All right, next we entered the jungle exhibit. And this thing was gorgeous. You see all these plants? Most of them are real. <laughs> a lot of these little birds running around. Plenty of monkeys in here. We also saw these hippos. Not sure why I'm taking a video of them though. I saw one in the bat exhibit earlier. Anyhow, more monkeys.
After that, we headed over to the Africa exhibit. Half the animals weren't even out because, again, it was 44 degrees out, no shit. Some of them were, though, like this little deer guy. Saw some rhinos off in the distance. Inside, we were able to see some giraffes. Elephants. Baby elephants. Then we headed over to the gorilla exhibit. Saw this weird monkey that kind of looked like a skunk. I think I've seen videos of this thing screaming before. You might want to turn down your volume. Three, two, one. And then I saw this monkey that looked depressed, and then this guy was uh, tweaking a little bit, but it's okay. Got a better shot of the skunk guys. Then I got a shot of another gorilla that was just chilling up there. And then after that, I went to the gift shop, and guess what I found? Another one of the sharks. A whole thing of the sharks that I got at the aquarium. I didn't have to carry this guy around the whole time. At that gift shop, I bought a red panda for my sister and a little otter for my brother. There was still a lot of the zoo left to explore, but we were all getting pretty tired. I'm so old! And that was pretty much the whole trip. I'll definitely come back to Omaha again. This is not the last time. There are, are so many things to do in Omaha, man. I mean, I live in Iowa. Move anywhere and there's more stuff to do. Oh, no.